it to stop her. Make it stop. Make it stop. Make it make it stop. Make it stop. I need. I need a drink. <laughs> mm-hmm. How long can we keep that going for? That is, th- th- there's, there's something, you know, there's some sort of skill in that, right? <laughs> That's a difficult thing to do for um, like an entire album. It's definitely difficult to listen to for an entire album. Yeah, but. I don't know what's harder, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like, I don't know, all you really got to do is just strain. It's just straining. Yeah, this is a, yeah. That's a great, great description here. This is a very strained album. I feel strained. I feel drained. I feel strained. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> strained. That should be our, our fucking strained with no e. <laughs> strained with no e. That's our fucking. That's our metal band. That's what it, our new metal our, band. Uh, yeah. Our butt rock band. Our post grunge band. Our post grunge band. Have some respect. It's post grunge, not butt rock. <laughs> It's it's hard. This is a hard thing that we're doing. We're doing a, a hard and bad thing today. We are reviewing. We are getting into our first ever butt rock review yeah um but maybe the last can we just make this the last i think once you do one you've done them all right it's a fertile ground for bad music i mean it's uh it's really uh (laughs) we could do any butt rock album honestly and it would fit the show it would fit the format (sighs) so i don't know do we need to do again because i I do feel like they're all the same album so i don't know i don't know (laughs) we have a couple special guests here with us today yeah we do because the only thing worse than listening to butt rock is listening to butt rock alone. Yes. That's when you know you have a problem when you are consuming butt rock pretty much of any quantity, but definitely if you're doing it uh, alone yeah. in secret, um, you might have a problem. So you we, should really call someone. You should. Yeah. There's there's a butt rock hotline that we'll be, <laughs> we'll be uh, letting you guys know at the end of the show. So yeah, we yeah, have some have a- some friends here. Lee who, and Patrick. Who also do a podcast about terrible albums. Yep. That's uh, what they do. And it's called Jukebox Zeros. And they're here with us today. Say hey. Hi. Hi. This is the first time we're talking today. Yep. Yes, Yes, we definitely didn't record for 20 minutes prior to this and then lose the recording. Who told you that? Um, Could you, actually, when I ask you to introduce yourselves, can you do it correctly, please? (laughs) My name is Lee. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. My There's an expectation that has been set. You know, yeah, like we're, we're here. We're leading a... My, my name is Lee. We're leading a <laughs> butt horse to butt Lee. water. My name is Lee. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll start. I'm very confused. My name is Patrick. <laughs> very nice. That's great. Love the embellishments. Maybe add in a little bitch at the end. Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> that's how you... That's... You've done it. Um, and now... <laughs> <laughs> that, that, tra- that translates to my name is Lee. <laughs> I heard ham. <laughs> that's, that's, the th- that's the thing about yarling. The, the key to good yarling is you have to say as many syllables that aren't actually in the words as possible. <laughs> it's like when you don't know the words to something that you're like lip syncing along to and you just say watermelon over and over again. <laughs> I would say just, you just sing like a dog, kind of like Scooby Doo speaks. Well, so we've reviewed the entire Hinder album for you. Thanks, guys. We're done, <laughs> and uh, we'll see you next week. It's been fun. What, what if the episode just ended now? Uh, I wish. Uh, if only. Yeah. If only. But there's just so much more tepid, uh, fucking. Toxic butt rock sludge water for yeah, us you know to what? put on our flood pants and our, you know, <laughs> just hope hold our nose and hope for the best. Yeah, you know what? At this point in time, you know, in, in the year of our Lord, uh, 2018, Ugh. like we're kind of at a point now where th- this butt rock uh, phenomenon, like the peak of butt rock, was about almost almost 20 years ago at this point, and like, and yet it's still going. But like, yes, indeed. But like. Now it's it's sort of become like a rich and fertile ground for just you know nostalgia for like a mix but between stalgia. nostalgia oh. and like butt nostalgia. <laughs> it's just like it's like the like amalgamization of of like 
of uh, nostalgia and like outright ridicule and like slight embarrassment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all of that all together. It, it, but there's, it's, it's a great, it's, it's a, a good place to be. It's a brutal there, butt rock stew. <laughs> there's definitely some proud butt rock fans out there. Like I don't cross paths with them, but they're out there. Oh, yeah. They're where consuming are, where this are they? music. Where are they? Might, they're in Oklahoma, where fucking Hinder is from. I might, I might even <laughs> say that butt rock is starting to come back in many ways. Like, yeah, we in don't what want ways? this. Well, I mean, like, if you've ever taken a look at, like, the Billboard rock charts, which is a cesspool. I would rather right. not. <laughs> well, okay. Bands like, we... bands like fucking Trapped and Smile Empty Soul, they're starting to have, like, so, they're starting to chart there again. All right. what? They're coming well, back against all odds. You know what? You know what it is? Look, look to the states that voted for Trump. That's where these yeah. people are. Yeah. Like, or the districts, it's, it's rather. Definitely it's, Trump, it's definitely Trump moms and their angry sons that oh, are buying yeah. this, these albums. Right, for sure. But, but yeah, I think the other thing so is that, that... Well, that's... <laughs> like, oh, we, we do. Um, but also, those charts are so, like, not representative of what actually popular music of, or, of or like, not. current music is well, in any way. It's just, it's, like, what old, like, sad moms what, are, are, like, spending money on. I mean, and, it's what like, people who still listen to the radio are listening to. Right. Because they're still playing it and that, on the radio and that on is WAF if you go to Western Mass on Laser 99.3 there's still a lot like it's the only commercially viable rock music left apparently yeah. and it has been for the last almost 20 years like you said I mean like I feel like uh, in 2005 when this album came out this was kind of the second wave of butt rock <laughs> You know, post Creed, and everyone, everyone who is, you know, I'm just thinking of like a tidal wave of sewage yeah, not, just I'm like not, washing ashore. I'm not very comfortable hearing butt rock referred to as a wave. A wave, <laughs> a wave of butts. A wave of more, butts. I'm a, more like a seeping. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah. Second yeah. seep for sure. The sec, yeah, the second, second leakage. Ooze, yeah. <laughs> uh, second leakage of butt rock. It really. Uh, <laughs> that's why. That's will. why they sound so constipated the entire time because they're just. Trying Trying to hold it on the, yeah. lake. <laughs> the the wave, the second the wave. wave. The we're, second. Trying to, we're trying to get it out. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I don't know. I feel like we around this a, time, we need to X-lax this fucking <laughs> entire genre. Like they, you know, they experimented a little bit. I feel like I don't know. Everything changed after new metal. They experimented a little bit with garage rock, sort of earlier in the two thousands, and yep. and that didn't pan out. I, I feel like you know, there's a lot of it. It panned out a little bit, but it wasn't very commercially successful compared to this shit. Uh, and somehow, you know, everyone else with discerning taste moved on to independently produce music on right. independent labels. And the only shit that was still coming out and being played on the radio and pushed by these major labels was butt rock and continues to be butt rock. I, yeah. It, it, the, yeah, the genre that keeps on sludging. Keeps like, on chugging. Who's this cheap zone? <laughs> it's, like, it's, the, you know, it's the same old business model. that They're still doing it somehow. Where, where, you know, like a band makes a record and then they go on tour and, and like, make money on the tours. And then yeah. just, like, the cycle continues. Yeah. Like, the mere fact that they're having any sort of financial success anywhere is just demoralizing. Oh, yeah. And yeah, what's, wild. what's weird, like, um, it's kind of found a way to seep. <laughs> into into, an, into entirely other genres too. Like um, I forget where I saw this. It was probably Revolver or something like that. But there was an interview with like, uh, are you familiar with the band Emure? No, no. They're like this metalcore band that are just, uh, just a That's collection of douchebags. Like in that sort of Emure, Bring Me the Horizon, Attila sort of. Not not that Attila. Not that Attila. Different nope. Attila. Yeah. A different Attila. So, like the death rock. Uh... And they were there's basically an interview. They were just like, oh, we our primary influences are Corn and Limp Biscuit. <laughs> How? Who who does that? <laughs> Starts off with that. And like just the mere thought of like sometime in the future there will be like some young up and coming band having all kinds of Billboard success and appearing on. Uh, I don't MTV Seven at this point, just being like, "Oh yeah, we love we growing up. Uh, we just sat around listening to Hinder oh, all day. God, it'll happen. It'll oh, happen. Listening it to will. Hinder and jamming nails into our eyes. <laughs> we use our time wisely. I mean, notable uh, gigantic piece of shit and human monster XXX Tentacion said that uh, Papa Roach was a huge influence on him. Oh. That's who's still listening to Papa Roach these uh, days. That really was his last resort, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh. I'll show myself out. <laughs> yeah. That, 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 uh, I think that there was a post that you made the other day on Facebook that was like, oh, remember when Papa Roach uh, tried to rebrand themselves as emo? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, they actually. Came with the scars. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, that, that was kind of like the thing too. I mean, there's there's in a lot of ways, you know, uh, like drawing the line between butt rock and emo. It's it's kind of it's all sort of still that like self indulgent yeah. whiny like breaking up with my girlfriend over and over again yeah. type of shit. But yeah. it's just without like the America loving chest pumping okay. like toxic yeah. masculine part. Especially like well, it's a different sort of toxic masculinity, I guess. But like. And and the vocal styling pretty pretty similar otherwise. Well, I think yeah, that was especially like, mainstream emo like uh, mainstreamo like uh, <laughs> fucking like Simple Plan, which actually the guy who produced this album also produced the Simple Plan album. Oh yeah, the Max Martin of butt rock. This as you guy, call him. <laughs> yeah, this guy who produced this album. I just want to read off the other acts that he produced. Uh, before before we get off oh, of emo sure. real quick, yeah. uh, I always found it profoundly hilarious to hear like these post grunge and like hard rock you know dude bros always just being like, "Oh, the emo kids are a bunch of wussies." Um, yeah, because this music is so ever, soft. If you've ever heard so anything soft. by the band Stone Sour, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, their lyrics the sound shit. like. Infinitely more wrist cutty than any emo song I've ever heard. That's the like, emotional have, Slipknot side project, right? I, yeah, yeah, Corey Ugh. Taylor, Corey Taylor, you know, the tender side of Corey Taylor. Oh, yeah. so I have, I have a mask choice. On, lyric, fuck I have it, a mask choice off, Corey Taylor. Just memorized in my head like the from their song uh, "Bother" from the Spider-Man Two soundtrack. <laughs> oh man, it was wow. so terrible. Yeah, I mean, yeah, these guys' no, entire the, like identity was. What, go ahead. What I was going to ask, what's the lyric though? Um, the Stone right, Sour right lyric. Right before their oh. already wrist cutty chorus, uh, as like a pre-chorus. Thing. They go, I wish I had a reason. My flaws are open season. For this, I gave up trying. One good turn deserves my dying. <laughs> Wow. Oh, All right. I'm, I'm 14 and this is deep. Yeah, his, his, uh, his mom hugged him quite a bit, I see. <laughs> a little bit too much, maybe. Uh, yeah, so emo, I feel like uh, that like started becoming popular like around the time that butt rock was starting to go. Well, right. or should have, like, first theoretically. Wave yeah, so first I really wave, yeah. think that the butt brought the, like, new metal, the original wave, the first leak of, of, of yes. butt metal, like, kind of branched off, the market kind of branched off into either emo or, like, Super dude, bro, America rock. Yeah, like, like Hinder. Yeah, you, the, the America that... part of it was like a pretty key element. Like this, yeah. this was like these colors don't run. Fucking like right. This was very <laughs> the most patriotic music you could listen to after nine eleven was right. butt rock. Yeah, and that was the whole thing with Three Doors Down country, going to play for the troops and stuff like that. It it's was very all close about, to country, like, you know, like. Uh, yeah, or orally. like uh, basically is so country, orally, just like almost. more. <laughs> yeah, you, you were going to mention some production credits before. Oh we yeah, went sorry. Oh shit, yeah, we're all so, over the sorry place. Sorry about that. No, I was just going to say this: the guy who produced this album and co-wrote every song. His name is Brian Howes. He's Canadian. He was in a band called Young Guns. Oh no, a band called DDT, which blended punk, Scott, and rap, and was signed by Lars <laughs> Ulrich. Oh. Boy. oh. Uh, yeah. Well, just, that's just for that description alone. Though, yeah, Paul. I think that's a future <laughs> when, episode right there. Yeah, what, when were these signed? Was this, uh... this is uh, in the late 1990s. Interesting. Um, but he produced Hinder, Skillet, Puddle of Mud, Rev Theory, who did the Randy Orton theme song. <laughs> Voices in my head. They talk to me. They understand. I feel like all of these songs that uh, we've listened to on this album are Randy Orton entrances. <laughs> also Nickelback, and also weirdly Boys Like Girls and Simple Plan, like uh, a little bit of pop punk thrown in, uh, but the worst kind of pop punk, you yeah. know? Oh, Boys Like Girls. The worst. Yeah. The w- that that just gave me a. a- Bad 2008 chill. Yeah. See there? Yeah. See there? Yeah. Well, that's not so different. Emo kids, dude bros come together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Boys Like Girls could definitely be a, f- a future episode of either of our shows. <laughs> right. That's true. I. It's Any just, of those bands. Butt rock, man. It, it really is just constipated country music with like occasional dangerous sounding cuss words like mixed yeah. in. And it's like, like wildly guitars, popular. Right? And, and it's wildly popular. It, it, it is. Like... It, uh, there's a lot of terrible shit that's wildly popular though. That just I think <laughs> this is the most. This is the best-selling album we've done since Return of Bruno. Ooh, God! <laughs> what a sentence. I, that, that sounds like it was not a close second at all. Uh. <laughs> um, Return of Bruno. That was the number one. That was the number one uh, album. <laughs> Fucking, what? I think right, wasn't it? Bruce Willis's blues rock album, Return of Bruno. I, I had no idea. Was there like a hit single that I just completely didn't know was Bruce Willis? Coming right up. <laughs> uh, That's it. Also, <laughs> That's un, uh, a, Under the Boardwalk, I think, was a single. 
Madison. All right, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to check out that episode. Uh, I mean, I don't know. That, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that much even is, we don't recommend. That much, is, that much is true. But was there any point in that album where Bruce Willis went? <laughs> 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 no, nope. it was close to it. That nope. stinky Yarling vocal. If you no. if you Only translated right. that into harmonica, he did that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh God. <sighs> now I'm just picturing just that yarling sort of sound going through like a vocoder to sound like a harmonica. That's terrifying. That sounds uh. like a Winnie Puss song. <laughs> so like what was going on with us in 2005 that like made this like made this still continue to be so famous? Like what was what was going on? I don't know. I just feel like, just deep I feel in the like bush it was years. pushed so hard by the radio that like People who only listen to the radio listen to butt rock. That was rock to them, you oh. know. Like, and it's just America was just indoctrinated by this and music, apparently pretty still much. Is. Apparently, still is. Yeah, you can go see Buck Cherry at a bowling alley. <laughs> yeah, Buck Cherry yeah. playing Wednesday, March seventh at wow. Pins in Kingston, Massachusetts. <laughs> hey, no, that's just one of those fake Facebook thing events. It's I real. Know. I know that. I does. I does. It's fucking feel real. real this it time. Feel real. I'm almost pumped. memes. <laughs> memes are becoming reality. Trump is president. Memes are becoming reality by the minute. I'm just I, picturing like you know the dudes up on stage. Yeah. He's a crazy, she's a crazy bitch, and they just like you know hear. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's actually I thought I they thought put on, they definitely got the cosmic bowling lights on for them. <laughs> I, w- I want to see them wearing black light shirts, uh, so, so everyone can see like all the fucking specks of grossness all over the singer's yeah, shirt. Yeah, all the cum and cocaine <laughs> residue. <laughs> like, a little bit of mustard. <laughs> he hasn't shaved his shirt since yesterday. I, I want to see the like the documentary detailing this like particular era of Buck Cherry right now. Like I feel like th- this is just like a macabre tale in the, in the making. It's true. It's bad. It's yeah, true. it's the bad. Era when Buck Cherry was playing at Applebee's and that sort of stuff. It, oh, yeah. well, like what's but happening with But this is actually right real, though. See, that's the whole point. In, in yeah, we've IRL. we've uh, we've reached meme singularity. It's fucking happening. It's crazy. Um, uh, so <laughs> back to simpler times. <laughs> oh my god. Two thousand five. With uh, we're, we got to get into hinder extreme behavior. All right, I just so don't so, want to listen to it. I know. Uh, can we just talk about the album for another hour without listening to any of the songs, and you can just uh, trust us. <laughs> Uh, <sighs> also, the name extreme behavior that like that's like a fake criminal charge. You tell like your eight year old <laughs> best friend, like, man, I I heard he, I heard she got arrested for extreme behavior. No way. What? <laughs> like, uh, this is definitely the. Fr- there's you're, nothing you're gonna extreme need to tone about that behavior it. Behavior down. <laughs> Does he have a gun? No, but he's being very extreme right now. <laughs> and the dude just like rolled in on a skateboard with like sunglasses and like a pot leaf on <laughs> Yeah, he's poochy. <laughs> got, got a, a go gurt in one hand. Uh, yeah, a Capri Sun in the other. <laughs> Not even a go gurt. Remember drinkable yogurt? <laughs> that is go gurt. That's what it was. I thought it was. The, the it was, in was in a tube. little tube. The drinkable oh. yogurt was in like a chocolate milk container. Oh. <laughs> was that that like fucking extreme, extreme. shit or, or whatever? And like they were like Disney princess shaped or something. <laughs> <laughs> I could just be imagining that. Yeah. Also, drinkable yogurt could be pretty much any kind of yogurt, really, if, so long as you don't eat it with a spoon. <laughs> right. Well, uh, keep, keeper is is drinkable yogurt. It's like a liquid. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Um, and, we don't, and we don't scoff at that, do but that, we? That's not extreme. Certainly kefir. not. That's let's, not extreme enough. Kefir though. is I, another thing that's more extreme. Okay, let's talk about what are the things that are more extreme behavior than this album. Like, what are more extreme things that you could do? I mean, we've already determined that bowling is. <laughs> yes, <laughs> bowling. Extreme um, bowling. When your mom tells you to, to turn off the PlayStation and go to bed, and then you wait five minutes, and you just turn it on with the volume lower and keep playing. <laughs> Extreme! 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 Extreme. <laughs> it is a really misleading album title, just, yeah. just because the, the songs are so... Mon- I was like, yeah, they're so poppy and they're and mundane. Like yeah, they're like, they're torch songs. They're like all about his ex or like cheating on his current girlfriend. Yeah. Or like they're just- slow dance songs for the shittiest wedding imaginable. Yeah. Yeah. There's no riffs, and you're right. Like it is. It's a lot of like songs about women. There's a really gross sexual energy to this. Yeah, uh, yeah. They this, definitely this are from- like rocking with their dicks. These aren't like. Even the album cover. This yeah. this is all in keeping with, you know, the band's lead singer, Austin Winkler, who was known to drape bras over his microphone <laughs> stand. Austin Much in the Winkler. same way that Steven Tyler did with wow. Scott. He was not 
he bought those bras. He was he not, yeah, totally did. Was no, so I mean, yeah, they were trying to like recapture the sort of like you know originally you know his hair metal or and like even before that yeah like Woodstock like, ninety nine trying to be Woodstock. <laughs> yeah, just that like you know constant <laughs> fucking like wheel of nostalgia that keeps rolling on for as we get deeper into late stage trying to, capitalism. Trying to bring the party <laughs> back control. Yeah, I know, but this is not the kind of nostalgia that I want to cling to in late stage capitalism, all no, right? No, but it's what no. the labels are clinging to. Oh. You know, it's, it's they've it's they've people they've, that uh, still pay money for CDs. Yeah, exactly. Oh, these, they're exactly. ruining the world. They, they, don't want, they, don't want, they don't have time for fucking Spotify. That's for sissies. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, I was going to mention the album cover... Uh, when we were talking about how this album is grossly sexual, because the album cover is a woman in lingerie on a bed with a bunch of pictures of the band members of Hinder uh, drinking at a bar in the pictures. Is she gonna jer- is she gonna fucking masturbate to these pictures of Hinder? Is yeah. that what's being implied? This this faceless woman just looking at all yeah these, no face just looking at all these photographs oh. going ah oh, the memories I, so, <laughs> a, so a dismembered woman well, <laughs> masturbating you know, remember, to uh, remember the time when I had a picture of two guys. <laughs> well, you, you didn't see the the next series of photos, which is the the same members of the band, but like in her broom closet with their skin removed. <laughs> <laughs> That's extreme behavior. Extreme, extreme, extreme. <laughs> and, that, and, that, yeah. and that woman, grew, <laughs> and that woman grew up to be Ed Gain. <laughs> Uh, I that wish I wish someone would serial kill uh, this band. I know, <laughs> I know. not just kill it once, not just kill it once, Pat's, but kill it Pat's multiple, just, multiple, multiple times. Hunt them down one by one. Pat, yep. Pat's just kidding. Uh, extreme. I don't know. Is Pat's that... just kidding, of course. She That's a little up... extreme. <laughs> Pat's kidding, of course. She grew up to be Betsy DeVos. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> she does have a DeVosy sort of look to her. Yeah. Oh, mm. man. Oh, we have probably just as qualified. Do yeah. we have to listen to... We've just... We, we've been beating around the bush on this. No. Oh, it's time to get we stoned, to baby. Oh. It's time to get stoned. Uh, well, get uh, stoned! Oh, my God. Why, why, ever, why ever would you say that, Mike? Uh, uh, that's the name of track. Is that some track? sort of segue? All right. That's so, a segue. That's, the also, so that's me tearing there, the Band-Aid off and saying, let's just play the fucking song. I just want to also... I forgot to mention this just to set the stage, but one of the guys in this band's his own name that he opted into is Blower. So Ugh. let's listen to uh, Let's Get listen to Stoned. Blower and the Boys with Get Stoned. <laughs> <a> stage name? <laughs> <laughs> That's not his... He wasn't just named Blower. <laughs> <It's crazy>. <laughs> Extreme! <laughs> One of the great weed songs of all time. <laughs> <laughs> up there. <laughs> this, this, so, the, the it's from way, the bong. The way this guy phrases his vocals, is, I need to like just call attention to it. And, and like one of the most egregious examples is the. Yeah, it's like <laughs> Sully Ern. It's Sully Erna meets Chad Kroger. But it just sounds so asinine, like like objectively. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it kills me every fucking time I hear him do that. So many confused teenagers in Billabong t-shirts had their first sexual experience to the song, oh, and I'm no. so sorry. I don't know. Don't say that. Come on. <laughs> I, I, I aged out of that. So, I guarantee let it. Let me just say real quick, as soon as you played this clip, like a huge wave of like WAAF bands just sort of floated back into my head. So <laughs> as we go on, I may accidentally say the wrong band every time. So <laughs> It's you, all the you guys, same. You guys may want to like keep on top of that if I slip up. <laughs> so yeah. Most. We'll this, fix it in post, yeah. yeah. The, this, the aughts were just such a great time for gender equality in music, weren't they? <laughs> well, all those songs about your bitching and your yelling don't mean anything. Bitch. And, bitch. How the sec- and how the sex is so much better when you're mad at me. Yeah, that's, uh, the, that's the hook. That's the hook. I don't, yeah, I never got that because, like, get stoned. Like, you don't get pissed off when you're stoned. I know, right. you're the doing song something is, wrong. The song is, bare, is not about getting stoned. He, it's a one throwaway line that he's going to go home and get stoned. And then, and then it's just about like, she's a bitch! 
<laughs> I came, came home from my shift Stay- at Applebee's. <laughs> uh, I uh, yeah. So like, like, there are so many. Like, I definitely remember being like 13 years old and like trying weed for the first time and looking up like any of the fucking like, you know, songs that I could that had weed in the in the title. And so maybe if I was 13, I would be like tricked into thinking this is a cool song. But you were too old for it at this point. Absolutely. I think I would have been too old for it then, to be honest, because like this shit does not sound like something you want to get stoned no, to in no. any way. There's nothing or... like cool or like shimmering. Yeah, this is like, more of a Rubinoff song. It's not chill, like, <laughs> oh, yeah. which I would think is one of the like the you know the trademarks of like a good stoning song. Right. right. Well, a not, well, not, song. well, not a stoning song. I mean, you would think. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, this is... Uh, you know what I mean. This is not the vibe at all. He can't stay focused on the topic at hand. I, it, it's just, just getting hung up on this on this lady. Who is this woman who jilted... Uh, blower. <laughs> who, yeah, hurt blow- who hurt who blower. you, Blower? <laughs> who hurt you, Blower? <laughs> he, he's the mastermind of the band, after it's, all. <laughs> it's true. Um, he's the puppet well, master. I really want to know, because every single... This entire album is just about that one relationship. It just feels like it's there, like, breaking up over and over and over again. And, you know... I'm not sure if I like that idea, that this is a concept album. Uh, I feel like that's giving him too much credit. Uh, I mean, You're, it's I mean, the laziest concept ever. It's, yeah, I hate sure. women. But I love women. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> but I hate them. But I want to fuck them. <laughs> that kind of was just a topic at hand yeah. of of mainstream music in the in this era, though. Like between this and emo, and fucking yeah, it was kind of a mess. And uh, you I mean, know, bling era hip hop. One was too. Let's be yeah, real. I love that's women. True. Slap. I hate women. Slap. I love and hate women. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh yeah. oh shit! I just clocked that. Nice. <laughs> like, that's great. Yeah. Uh, Some people will get that. Yeah. It's still like it's so fucking generic, you know. Like nothing about this is extreme in any way. It's like Yankee Candle like rock, you know. This is like this is like drinking an Orange Julius and scowling at the mall. Yeah, I, rock. I, I like that. Like this is having your mom dropping you off a few blocks away and then calling her a bitch behind her back. <laughs> like I, I hadn't listened to butt rock in so long, and you know, really, when I had to hear these Hinder songs on the radio, I never listened them all the way through. No. Def- this is definitely the first time i listened to any hinder song from beginning to end in my life Come on. so i was i was expecting I, I, I was kind of mixing up butt rock with new metal in my head you know like i hadn't listened to it in so long i was like oh it's like new metal except i don't know like more it's country a broad term but it really is not like i was expecting some riffs and there's no riffs on this album no. yeah, you're it's just four nickelback right yeah i don't know i was exp- i was thinking like down with the sickness that's kind of like a different End of the spectrum. It is. Like. It is. And it's also Heather's husband's favorite song. It's not my husband's favorite song. <laughs> like, Disturbed is kind of more towards song. the emo side of things, where they're like, they're not like over American. In fact, they're, some of them are like, you know, Turner Diaries reading folk. Yeah. You listen to Dis- <laughs> you yeah. think Disturbed reads the Turner Diaries? Probably. I mean, they're woke as fuck. <laughs> Disturbed. <laughs> you gotta be woke to get a uh, a metal piercing that looks like yeah. a goatee. I mean, that whole first album, <laughs> that whole first album was about Ruby Ridge. You didn't know that? <laughs> oh shit! They covered a Simon and Garfunkel song. They gotta be woke. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no, that's your husband's favorite song. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot. We that's were talking about this today. Uh, yeah, this was. Uh, I he just wants to like torture me, I guess, like because it's funny because I don't listen to enough bad music. He like secretly starts playing the Disturbed <laughs> cover of the Sound of. Silence and like just like sneaks up on me with it, and I'm like I always just like run away or I like wrestle him and like make it like turn it off. But the other day we were watching the Olympics and like one of the one of the skating programs they come out and they the pair skate to the sound of silence oh, covered no. by Disturbed oh, in the oh, Olympics. You can't escape it, Heather. In the Olympics. And I was just like, so horrified. What I, has I this watched world it. become? See, that's what's happening. you got to dock him at least a point Dude, just for that, right? But Rock Nothing has insane. even seeped into the... Figure skating. <laughs> into figure... In the Olympic level figure skating. Like, this needs to end. This is high school dropout music and it end. needs to end. <laughs> and they're still doing it. They got a new singer now, though. Oh, do they yeah. now? Yeah. Do they get, like, his brother or something? Someone with, like, the same sort of, like, shit-gargling baritone? Oh, no. They're, they're, I, think... <laughs> I don't know. I didn't bother to listen to any of the new <sighs> shit. Of course not. Austin they released was... a new song on Valentine's Day. I saw them tweet about it, and they <sighs> said, Happy Hump Day. Oh, oh my God. Uh, 
Uh, I will say, like, replacing their singer is probably one of the only, like, things that Hinder has ever done right. <laughs> but maybe they if were, they could replace all of the rest of themselves and actually, I mean, by doing that, replace them with nobody. <laughs> the, guy, the guy they replaced Austin Winkler with was a guy named Marshall Dutton. Oh. And, like, for comparison's sake, I listened to one of their newer songs. And, God bless uh, you. With, without being asked to. <laughs> and all, all I can Suck say up. is it sounds, it sounds more like Joe Elliott from Def Leppard than Scott Stapp. Oh, really? Yeah. It doesn't sound Really? Good. Are they turning cock rock now? Pretty much. They're sounding a lot more like glam metal than just, you know, butt rock. Than, well, huh. they, well, I mean, I guess they butt, touched I guess on that on this album. 80, I, guess, I guess glam metal was the butt rock of the 80s. Oh, totally. So, yeah. right. oh, it all comes sure. around from demographic, just cycling over and over. I mean, don't get me wrong. It it's still doesn't sound toxic good. toxic masculinity, the genre, and uh-huh. all of its various Continued. incarnations. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it, it, was, it was weird. The I've, butt waves. <laughs> we've been talking about how it's been butt rock, uh, you know, since this time. That's been the the... This iteration of this kind of music, but I I forgot that it was dubstep for a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah, like 2011, we had a little bit of a dubstep. Yeah, move. the bro yeah. step. The bro step. Yeah, because that's not like actual dubstep. No, that's not like digital mystics. The, ele- the electronic music nerd in me could go on and on, but that's something. Yeah, no, I'm with like you, Dan man. Mouse I was there from the shit. beginning, man, with with dubstep. <laughs> yeah. I remember. Go, go look up some UK. <laughs> you were garage. there in the early 70s, <laughs> yeah. like late 60s. <laughs> All right, well. Rough. You know, butt step. <laughs> yeah, yeah, butt step was it was like that, a thing. That's basically that. Corn al- did a yeah, dubstep album. I was about to say that's Man. basically the album Corn did with Skrillex. Butt step. Are we gonna review that? We probably should. <laughs> it's definitely it's on our, put it on the docket. Listen, award winning combo right there. <laughs> we have a lot of other really dumb songs to listen oh, to. Oh yeah, we only yeah, did the first one. Should huh? we just move on? Uh, I just so don't want to listen to any of them. Know, All right, put it on. All put right. it on. This is how long track two. Ugh, like how much longer is what it should be called. It's Butt Rock, Don't Fear the Reaper. Uh, another, uh, another meaty track from... Puddle of mud. <laughs> I want to say yeah, this is like this is a bit more like ballady. I think it, it's yeah. like, don't you think? A little bit. I mean, like just because like the melody is a little like more. I hesitate to use the term melodic when talking about Hinder, but well, like, they're, they're definitely melodies. they're definitely piping in, yeah, it's like these background vocals to like you know fill out. It's it's a pop song. That's yeah. the thing. It's like a pop song with like a bunch of extra like bitch and like you know like occasional references to like drinking. Like yeah. it's it's they have harmonies too. They had harmonies in that middle eight, almost like Alice in Chains style. That was listenable. Harmonies. It wasn't good, but it was. Li- I mean, you can listen to it. It has like a. I'd it has rather like not. A, I mean, it has. It, it's a pop structure. It's super formulaic, but it's at least clearly music, which is more than we can say for some of the shit that we've reviewed. It, it on is technically show. music. But, <laughs> yeah, but uh, but would you take the? Sh- I would take the shags over this. I would any take day. Fair Abraham over this for sure. I mean, obviously, you guys hear me every week talk about how Fair Abraham is yes. my new favorite album. It's your it's your white whale. It's <laughs> <laughs> this it, every song on this album has like a greasy mouth yeah. feel. Yeah. <laughs> this, this song in particular, you just want to spit it out. Yeah, this song in particular, if I had to characterize it, I would like in my notes I have written this is a song that wears its neck beard and trilby hat with pride. <laughs> it's the stereotypical nice guy made manifest into a song. Okay. Right on down to all the lyrics being, you know, just with that sort of, it should be, she should be with me yeah. kind of. I, That's I'm exactly the correct it. person. <laughs> yeah, it's toxic it's just, masculinity. It's, it's just tailor-made for an incel Blow. Reddit forum. It's, Blower it's, was jilted by this woman and, and, you know, everything is her fault. Yeah, this entire album is literally that. I, fe- I, I definitely have seen this guy loitering outside the stop and shop looking to hit on teen girls getting off their shifts by offering them cigarettes. Ugh. Can you imagine if this song... <laughs> it's too real. <laughs> oh, boy. Can you imagine if this song, like, got you pumped up? Like, <laughs> There's folks out there that are like, all right, gym playlist, play, and it's fucking Hinder. How Long by well, Hinder. If it, if you know it gets you pumped is? up, you're wrong. <laughs> the problem is, is that... That's, this, that's simple as that. This guy... The, uh, what's the producer's name again? Uh, Brian Howes. Brian Howes. Like, he's, he's actually a decent producer like you know the the drums are like big and up front and like the guitars are mixed well and and, and yeah. like you know the it's very the, the given, like given what he's work you know what he's given like he works well so like i could picture 
if someone didn't know any better, someone putting that on and like hearing those drums and just being like, yeah. Yeah, they do <laughs> pop. Totally. The drums pop. It's got, it's, it's well mastered. Yeah. It's tight. Oh, they put a lot of money behind it's it. It's just, oh. It's awful. It's just, <laughs> it's really bad. It's like, uh, yeah. You know, there's a lot of music that's well made. That still has no merit in my eyes. This you know? isn't yeah. well made. It's not just because it. I don't know. It, it's polished. It hues, it hues it's to a, a polished formula. turd. It hues to a formula. That doesn't make it good. Well, like to, to tie it back to what you were saying about that Joe Elliott sound of like it, it's sort of like fucking. Uh, what's it called? Fucking um, hysteria by Def Leppard. Where it's, it's very well made, but it's just fucking garbage. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Before we get off of this track, one thing I wanted to say real quick. Uh, on the Wikipedia article for this song, uh, there's a line that says, A music video was never made for this single for unknown reasons. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you, just, know someone, you reasons? just know someone from the band wrote that. Oh, my God. But the thing with Wikipedia well, I mean, is, to even write that, there needs to be an article that says about that. About that. So who wrote the article, Hinder not no releasing idea. music video? <laughs> someone was really pissed off that they never made that video <laughs> unless there's like a, i said someone from the band wrote that was it a citation needed i don't remember and i don't <laughs> care to go back and look <laughs> at bad practice that we'll just, is there anyone we'll even checking know. on we'll the hinder pages know. for wikipedia somebody definitely is <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of fucking if that's one of my favorite things to do is just like deep dive into edit histories of wikipedia pages and the people who do it like there's some there's some wild people out there devoting all of their time to Maintaining Wikipedia. Yeah, like, Making uh, sure that all of the information about Hinder is... <laughs> yeah, there's definitely one guy who just does all the Hinder shit. <laughs> our, our, our friend... It's, uh, it's, it's Blower. <laughs> it's Blower. It's totally Blower. <laughs> My friend used to vandalize the page for um, Mo from the TV show Guts. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> yeah. He just picked that because he thought it would fly under the radar. Like He picked that as the one page to just write falsehoods on. <laughs> I mean, she, she should... She should take to Twitter, like, jump on that 90s nostalgia circuit. Yeah, what's you know what I up mean? with Mo? What's, hashtag Mo? Let's hear it. Mo! <laughs> Let's hear Pass it. it over to Mo! <laughs> the Crag. <laughs> that was the actually, crag. the Agro Crag was so extreme! I wanted to climb it so bad. So extreme! The Agro Crag's definitely more extreme so than So much more extreme than, than this. Yeah. Oh, Mo absolutely. Most Nickelodeon... T uh, wild and Crazy Kids, more extreme. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 90s, wild the 90s crazy. wrote the book on extreme. Oh, yeah. Let's fucking, be real. Fucking Franklin... <laughs> Franklin, more, Franklin more extreme. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Little Kipper. Bear, Little Bear, Kipper, Bear in the Bleak. No, that's Disney, isn't it? Well, Blue's Blue's. Blue House, it's fine. But that was nineties. Yeah, but that was Disney. I'm not I mean, that. Steve, was, Steve was a meth head, right? Still, still so. probably more extreme. Though. <laughs> no, I, I remember extreme. that rumor. <laughs> yeah, that was my second favorite rumor after uh, Marilyn Manson removing his ribs <laughs> to blow himself. <laughs> that was my favorite. Do you think that any of them ever? Do you think Blower got his name because he <laughs> removed his ribs? <laughs> 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 I don't even think that worked. There's, because there's some you know weirdo you know those people who are like plastic surgery addicts. Uh, there's a guy who's like a plastic surgery addict and he got two of his ribs removed. Uh, I don't to think he can suck, his, suck own his own dick. No, he said it was because it made his pants fit better. God, so, wait, he's wait. wearing his pants up to here. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? To don't nipple. ask me. To his nipples. This is like someone's grandpa. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to drag people who have like it. body dysmorphia or whatever. Yeah, but it is. I don't. I just don't. Uh, he would have mentioned it. I feel like if he could suck his own dick now. I don't know. Maybe like, that's something you keep to yourself in your dick. Mm, I would tell everyone. Would if I could do it. <laughs> so, so this guy just like walked into an office, a plastic surgery office, and was just like, "Listen, my pants they aren't fitting correctly. <laughs> These ribs they gotta go." Guys, listen to all the things that we're talking about in order to avoid listening to another Hinder song. Like, right, this yeah. is like an ongoing like. We're trip. really we're really stretching this. Yeah. All right, let's just we do got, it. Let's just get it over with. Like, can we just, ha- like, can we just play all of them to, and then and then end this? <laughs> Are we done? Uh, no, let's just do it. Let's just. All right. All right. We'll try to power through this next one. All, all right. right, this one is called "By the Way." Oh, power ballad. We got a power ballad. Hey, 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 hey. This is definitely the the Get lighter the lighter wagger. Yeah, it's, kind of, it's a power ballad on track three. Like, who the fuck yeah. does that? Oh, that's that's a good point. called extreme behavior. I hadn't even thought of that. It's yeah, a fucking track three. Yeah. We're already like, into already? the fucking like lighter holding like butt ballads. Like, what the fuck? <sighs> butt ballads. This is really misleading. I'm I'm upset, 
and I wish to speak to their manager. Yeah, this is not extreme. <laughs> um, it's so lame. It's, it's so lame. It's, it's just... a lame one. It's wild. <laughs> so it's weird that this music was uh, it was like supposed to be the music for dudes who thought the white stripes were like too sissy, you know? <laughs> yeah. And like they're for hipsters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this is this is the alternative. This is like this is how you display that you're a real who is, man. Who is psyched about this other than like that one guy who just thinks that Matchbox Twenty never got their due? <laughs> I mean, I think there's a lot <laughs> of cognitive The guy with the involved. these colors don't run. Fucking bump sticker the, oh, yeah. you know and by the world these colors don't run ironically they're, it's all Apple like Bruce. fucking sun bleached the sticker and faded <laughs> they took <laughs> our jobs <laughs> Uh, yeah. So this only happens like a couple of times in the song, but there's just something fundamentally unsettling about when Austin Winkler really hits those high notes. Ooh. Yeah, he does. He, oh, he does. Man. He's got the pipes really working overtime. In I this mean, song. just because he has the pipes doesn't mean that he should still do it. Um, I, I I don't I barely remember that though. Like I was t- trying to write down notes about individual portions of the song. Like, yeah, I didn't instrumentation or or whatever, but I couldn't do it because I just had this voice in my head repeating lame, 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 <laughs> lame. I hate it. I hate yeah. it. I know. I know. It's, yeah, he's it's awful. just the lyrics. I couldn't allow myself to pay attention to this. The lyrics are just the douchiest magnetic poetry. Yeah. Like if all the words are just like bitch and Mountain Dew. Like, well, you know, like, just, Mountain Dew. <laughs> he's just so fucking amateurish like for, for like in terms of this like what a singer should have in their arsenal like he, he uses like a lot of the same like rhythms and phrases in, in his like melodies and shit and, and again his lyrics are just absolutely asinine atrocious. yeah asinine oh my god there we go yeah <sighs> Yeah. Oof. We done? Yeah, <laughs> let's next, move on. Next one. I like that. We, 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 uh, that one's, we plowed uh, through that one just like we said we would. Let's let's get going uh, here. Guys. What's next? This is nothing good about goodbye. Mm-hmm. We do agree. Very clever. That sounds like it could be like a the fray song or well, something. It has like, a primary, secondary, and tertiary hook. That's yeah. that's pop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just a yeah, it's just a pop song. But if you filtered it through just layers of of garbage I just for had no this reason, in, I don't know if it's in this song, but I, it might have been this song. It might have been one of the other songs. But there's like they're all the same song. They're change, all the same song. There's a key change at the end of it. Oh yeah, basically like a, like a major that. second modulation that happens, and I just. I had this thought of like the lead singer of this band, like, uh, forgive me out there if I'm using this reference incorrectly, but like, pulls out like a like a book uh, on like Brill Building Pop and is like going through all these like, no, nah, see, you gotta put the in the, the C section here, you gotta feel like put a modulation on to really make it pop. Is that how you? <laughs> Brian, ha- that was Brian Howe speaking. That was right Brian Howe's yeah, yeah. Howe's approach. That's how okay. Brian Howe's voice sounds. <laughs> the, I'm sure. The song is like catchy in kind of a perverse way. It is. I feel like it. If it was a different tempo and a different diff- delivery, like a different I, it could be a decent <laughs> pop punk song. Yeah, exactly. That's what I kept saying. It was just like a very formulaic, but but then you just have these super super exaggerated like yeah, the very co- emotive. Because I can't show emotion without like you know the being emotion has tough. to be anger. Yeah, yeah, it has to be anger. It has exactly. to be like I'm angry, sad. I'm a, angry. You need to pop out like several Lord. neck veins yeah, to like, like show that you're still a man because you're not gonna. <laughs> Cry, you're gonna hold it inside, like yeah. Just like subtle is, as a teenage I, boy's cologne. This shit is when, <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is when I start to ache for like the raw, like viscera of broken side. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh boy, I don't want to go that far. I don't have any comment on this song necessarily, so I'll just say um, when I listened to this album in advance, it was all just in a single YouTube video. It was one of those kind of full album stream things. And the only comment on it was one guy, and his comment was literally, thank you, bro. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Just shouting into the void. Ugh. I did think... That's very polite of him. Yes, it was. That's what I thought. This this was the most WWE theme also. Like, I feel like butt rock is the genre of WWE theme songs. That's probably what keeps it in business, to be honest. That's got to be oh, a yeah. huge portion of it. You know, like, it's wild. Because, you know, I'm into wrestling, and it's wild being on forums... 
and about wrestling and there'll be people talking about like who has the best theme song and people will be like yeah i love the batista theme song man saliva is so dope <laughs> you know what i love the batista theme song too i walk for miles inside this pit of danger <laughs> <laughs> it's a good song it's way better than this song uh, <laughs> that's great <laughs> well it's like it's it's so overproduced like there's yeah. no like authenticity or like any grit to anything it's all just the same fucking note and like I would take Nickelback or Puddle of Mud over this because at least like at least they came out in 2001 and I didn't have to listen to them for five more years and then listen to this song yeah I don't see how this is functionally any different than Nickelback this is actually like a photo a photocopy of living on a photograph (laughs) and it's just every single song is about this like perpetual fucking breakup like this guy is such a fucking sleaze bag. And they were like, I mean, to be like a party I thought, band. Too. Yeah, yeah, I thought, I thought these guys them. were. I thought yeah. these guys were gonna bring fun back to rock and roll. Is that yeah, what they right? said? Um, back when they were at their biggest, uh, they did an interview with uh, UGO Entertainment, a website. Wait, Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, no, no, <laughs> stay with me. Um, here's Hinder's rhythm guitarist Mike King with a choice quote that I really think just sort of sums up the entire mission statement of Hinder. I think hip-hop came in and stole that party from rock and roll. That's where the fun has been for a while, and we just want it back. So, yeah, you know, fuck they, off, dude. Casual this racism. Is, yeah, yeah. This extreme. is a fucking party. Yeah. Get in an easy Nothing anti-rap Nothing more extreme dude. than casual racism. Nothing more extreme than fucking just mid-tempo pop songs. Yeah, That's like, the fucking party, really, honestly? Uh, fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> God, like uh, blower. You know who makes the real music? <laughs> Drug suburban white guys. <laughs> I get the feeling this is They're all from just... Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah, I would explain I, the I get... fucking names they have: Marshall <laughs> Tutton, <laughs> <laughs> Marshall Dutton, Dutton, oh. Marshall Aust- Dutton. And Austin Winkler. Oh wow. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I... No wonder why they're all so fucking uptight and fucking (laughs) (laughs) angry all the time. I feel bad because I trashed Cleveland over um, Machine Gun Kelly, but I forgot, like... Perubu is from Cleveland and shit. Like, there's some good bands from Cleveland. I don't think yeah. there's any good bands there from are Oklahoma. No good plans. Stoppies, if there's a single good band from Oklahoma, you got to tell me about it. Actually, it's, it's funny Please you mentioned that. Please hashtag OKLahoma okay, or <laughs> hashtag NopeLahoma. <laughs> <laughs> if uh, you uh, right. want to weigh in on this critical. I did want to, like, say something real quick Oklahoma related. Um, Please do. Please do. Please had do. something prepared. Right. <laughs> Here's a fun piece of trivia. Did you know that Hinder were inducted into the Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame? <laughs> <laughs> A mere two years after the release of Extreme Behavior. <laughs> wow. Which means, <laughs> what we can glean from this is that it's incredibly easy to get into the Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame. They're the only band in it. <laughs> Here, here's another thing. I, yeah. Who else is in Oklahoma that I'm looking here's this a, up? Here's another thing. They got in on a Rising Star Award. Oh. Other people who got in on the Rising Star Award have been Carrie Underwood, the All-American Rejects, oh. and Kings of Leon. Wow. One of oh. those four, oh, one okay. of those four bands is not doing so well. Uh, Wait, what was the second one? Uh, the the other ones that got in were Carrie Underwood, All American Rejects, and Kings of Leon. Three of those bands those are, are still doing good. Those guys yeah, are pretty true. legit. Kings of Leon are still. Uh, I mean, it's it's popping? a dubious honor anyway because the Hall of Fame started in '96 and the group Color Me Bad got in before Roger Miller, Leon Russell, and Jimmy Webb. So make of that what you will. Kristen, Color me bad. Kristen I'm trying Chenoweth. to remember what was their song. So yeah, there's someone from Oklahoma, Roger Miller from. I uh, wanna sex you up. No. Yeah, they were like that a was New Jack Swing bad? type thing, Maybe. right? Maybe. I mean, Rod- I, I liked uh, some New Jack Swing. I liked um, Tony Tony Poison. Tony. Yeah. Once again, we're getting yeah. distracted thinking about any other music. Uh, anything yeah, else? Better music, <laughs> please. Not this. <laughs> it's kind of straight from Put the path. Away. of Hinder. All right. I would rather review every oh, single Kristen album. Oh, Christian Chenoweth. Yeah, I just yeah, in the in the Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame, except for this album that we're now listening to. <laughs> uh, anyway, no let's talk about Hinder. <laughs> All right. Do we? Let's have yeah. To? Just go, let's go to the next one. All go to the next one. This one, ugh, this one is bliss. <laughs> bliss. 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 <laughs> They had a professional songwriter working on this. Uh, and then you get shit like, the vodka's running on empty, or I woke up with my heartbeat in my head. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is that, you guys remember the YouTube video that had the two 
Nickelback song, the exact same chord progression. Oh, yeah. This totally. is that chord progression. This is the same one. <laughs> yeah, it, oh, it, it's the butt rock uh, cadence for sure. Yeah, with with these like boy band, like harmonic, like choruses too yeah, that totally. don't make any sense. But then like, it is, it is. There's a lot of. It is like an earworm. Unfortunately, like there's a lot of like these songs will stick with you if you it's let them. Bland. Yeah, and well, washes over you like whatever. Warm. Whatever Shine Down was paying the fucking songwriter it was too much. <laughs> that, that was the band, right? That's the band we're listening yeah, to. That's basically Shine Down. <laughs> yeah, smile, smile, empty soul. <laughs> um, like, also, is this supposed to be menacing? Like, are you again? Are you it supposed to be dangerous? Menacing. It's like, well, he's like, I'm drinking my vodka on the side of my brain. Like, it's like when Miley Cyrus tried to be like fucking like hip hop, you know, like trying yeah. to be tough. <laughs> shit uh, and uh it just doesn't work like none of it works it's not convincing at all i mean it's definitely convincing that this dude like drinks vodka by the side of his or he probably drinks like rubinoff or like i don't even know i don't Something know i mean they're li- they're <laughs> probably fabulously well to do from selling all these fucking hinder records so i yeah, he drinks gray I mean, goose yeah look, look at the Belvedere. cover look at the cover of the subsequent album they're all in front of that fucking like mansion and, and they got sweet cars wait what they're 2008 i did right, not yeah, I'm, I'm pulling it up right now because oh i actually God. i for a while i thought that this was the cover i i remember this for some reason Oh yeah, there take it is. It take, it li- take, take it to the limit. Take it to the limit. Take it to the limit. And they got the sweet cars. Oh my god. Oh my god, this looks like a pen and pixel like No Limit Soldiers hip hop album from like 1997. What? No way. Oh, oh my god. That's fucking dude, wild. It's, it's like it's like the triple X fucking logo. Oh, it looks like, like a hood ornament. Oh my god. <laughs> this, uh, this is crazy though. I Look at it's so like 3D rendered too. What the fuck? <laughs> It, this it, is it's extreme. They they oh, sure do look like they're Look at what these dude. guys fucking look like. Oh my god. Jesus, look at these outfits. They look like Chris Angel. <laughs> they all look like Chris Angel. <laughs> Except for that one guy who looks like Cedric from the Mars Volta. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? What is Cedric doing in Hinder? I don't know. Oh, oh, oh I far see left. With the fro, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh my god. Good god. This is really trash. The, yeah, it's like broken side all grown up. <laughs> like is this <laughs> which we like, will listen to. You have to wonder We're is, not it, is this ironic? It. Is this like not ironic? Did they are they really trying like I don't think it's movie? ironic. No, I know it's definitely not ironic. No. There's no level of like self critique here. There's no editing. I here. haven't There's heard no, any like, no self awareness. No. Like after that guy trashed rap music like and then just pulled like and then some, straight up ripped off like a rap cover. Yeah, ripped off like yeah. it looks like a no limit that aesthetic. A, a like Master P album from 1998. Yeah. Like what the fuck? Such I expect it to be one of those like orange jewel cases with oh, I don't know. Man. Does anyone remember that shit when that was like the trend in hip hop for like one year was everyone had weird jewel cases that were like spiky and orange and green and shit? Vaguely. No. <laughs> I remember it. I'm old. You're you're OG. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, uh, yeah, let's hurry up right through let's this. Let's go thing. on yeah. to what's next? I don't know. It's the same one again. Um, this one is better than me by Hinder. Still. What it feels like oh shit! Things are getting right. earnest up in here. Uh, I really miss your hair in my face. Ballad, purple string section. Extreme rip clicking. <laughs> That's an extreme boy, boy. rim clicking right there. <sighs> the song makes uh, Hemorrhage in My Hands by Fuel sound like Slayer. <laughs> you know, I, I hadn't heard this song uh, since it was a single. I, I think this was like a later. These were all singles. Can we yeah. mention that? Oh, like yeah. eight of the ten songs in the album were singles. So I, I definitely recall better than me being on like a Kiss 108, which is our like Boston's local pop station at one point. Oh. And just being like, and, and I heard it again today for the first time since then, and just having like, you know, mu- music has this amazing way of like bringing you back to a certain time, and like, and it brings and you back to the. <laughs> sometimes it's it's really beautiful, and it's like holy shit, like you know, something from your childhood. But this, like, I just immediately <laughs> like like i was back at my friend's house like puking in his, in his you know upstairs bathroom like mugatu uh, pr- uh, programming zoolander you were like seriously <laughs> it, it was just yeah that like fucking um pavlovian response yeah. that i got there. no i had a similar what this did for me is i remember the last year i was in uh living in amherst i was finishing my degree and i only had to do three more credits 
one more class. So I just took a class at Holyoke Community College because it was cheaper. Yeah. And I used to have to um, commute uh, from Amherst to Holyoke. And on that drive, like, the only station that came in in my car was fucking Laser 99.3. <laughs> yeah. So, like, hearing these songs just brought me back to listening to them because That's I had literally turn- no other choice. Or just turn off the radio. It was a really, I know, really I know, I know but... Because uh, I, I actually, I actually, when I was listening to this... Once in a while, this, they'd play I- System of a Down or something, Who you know? time <laughs> for that? <laughs> No, I actually, like, when I went to go listen to this, I was surprised because I thought I would recognize, like, these songs or whatever. But, like, I actually thought this was Buckchair. I thought it was, like, crazy British, like, when I signed up for it for some yeah, reason. They, like, conflated in my mind. Very similar voices. Right. When okay. I was listening to But the I had al- never actually heard any of the songs on this album at all. Yeah, when, I was, when I was listening to the album, literally the only song I recognized was the big single, which we have yet to get to. Ugh. We'll get to yeah. it soon. And I... What I will say about this song, um, while I was going through listening to the album, like I just had Genius.com on like a spare <laughs> oh, tab, no. just so I could look at the lyrics, and just the mere fact that anyone would ever need to annotate any lyric by Hinder <laughs> is just hilarious to me. How are the annotations? Were yeah, they, what are they? What do what they have they, to what say? What is the deeper what meaning to the What do they have to, to say Hinder to the, for, to the lyric mean, referring the, to banging in a shopping mall I'm dressing room? I'm paraphrasing here, but literally it was just sort of something like his lyrics, like I really miss your hair in my face. Annotation. He misses the hair. He misses her. <laughs> so let, let's get He's this sad. straight. Let's He's get very this straight. Sad. You just spent like fucking like six, seven songs trashing this poor girl, and now like you're gaslighting her into like. Oh yeah, totally. That, yeah. This is the They're anthem. Like, oh, no, no, no. You know, it's it's all good. This is the anthem for manipulative, insecure boyfriends everywhere. Oh, absolutely. the gaslight anthem. Yeah, the <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice. We got beef. All right, another, another thing, quick thing I got to say that I fucking hate about this song is, again, going back to how this guy phrases his vocals, it, it's just something that really fucking bothers me is he goes, uh, like, so much better than me. With like, <laughs> that, that was terrible. You can get uh, so much better like, than I'm... He just He just goes E, like, straight up, like, if he went, like, like it would have sounded like so much better, but it just sounds so like fucking odd and stupid. It's and, just like, constantly it that constipated. Uh, you know, like it's it's like fucking. Uh, he's doing a kamehameha or something. Like you've <laughs> yeah. got a fucking strain. Ugh. Dude, uh, I'm like trying to look up the genius notations for this song because one of the like I wanted to know what is one memory I don't want to lose that time at the mall, you and me and the dressing room. Like, were they just banging in a dressing room? <laughs> yeah, at the yeah, mall? yeah. That totally. is the most hinder fucking sentence. Like, is there oh anything God. more shameful that you could be uh, other than someone who fucked this guy? Oh. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, we haven't even gotten to, like, the grossest song yet, which Ugh. is, which I, I mean, in my opinion, it's this the next one. This song says the way <laughs> your innocence tastes, all right? Yeah. Uh, it gets grosser. It does. Track, well, track seven is a doozy. Uh, is shall, that the next one? Sure is. Shall we just move it right along? Mm-hmm. That's bad. Room 21. So there are two things I love most about this song. The first is obviously that bitch that we all like. <laughs> that, which is so reminiscent of like whenever some band wants to sound, you know, way more tough and stuff than they actually are, they put Brat. such emphasis on like a swear. Like uh, Mumford and Sons song Little Lion Man, where they're like, I really fucked it up this time. Oh, yeah. And the other thing I love is how the backing so vocals tough. literally sound like they're just going, I'm going to fuck her! <laughs> <laughs> didn't, it, didn't it just sound like that? Uh, yeah, I think it, it, they might. They literally could have been saying anyway, that. Anyway, this like, is my pick for grossest song on the album. Yeah, yeah, I said, I, yeah it's the worst one yet, for sure. I so, was looking for riffs, you know, I was like, I need some tasty riffs on this album, but... Not like this. Ooh, Not we like need this. a tasty riff, Not, I don't but need everything is disappointing and miserable. I didn't want jet riffs. Yeah, this is a jet song. Yeah, Cold-hearted sure. bitch. <laughs> so, so here's another thing. 
Is Austin Winkler just the dumbest front man of all time? Yes. Because <laughs> asked an answer. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, we just went from, like, you know, a sort of weepy, why did she leave me ballad to, I'm going to fuck her. Just That's because like well, that. it's the gaslight. It's the gaslight anthem. Yeah. That's, like, what uh, it is. It's just back yeah. and forth from, from song to song, I mean, breaking up, getting back together. Oh, we, we love each other, but we hate each other, and we can't stay away from really, each other. I love the way you lie. Yeah. You know, like, that I shit's mean, fucked that really up. Get idea for like the type of people this band is i mean thinking about it does that make him the dumbest front man of all time or just a hard rock singer in the odds yeah Yeah, that's probably more (laughs) but also trying to be like white snake i feel like on this song like he's definitely like trying to go like cigarettes on the floor yeah that's the thing like he's like shouting out like cocktails and like like, what is is that (laughs) how wacky it is we have mimosas Um, I, I could picture this like playing at the bar, like he's just like a mixologist, and like <laughs> we got mimosa, we got fuzzy navel, uh, suffer um, bastards. Sometimes you just hear a lyric so cringy you need to take a shower. <laughs> Meanwhile, this song has a part that goes, "She loved the taste of my o o o." And now I feel like I just need to live inside of a shower stall the rest of my life. <laughs> you guys were mentioning uh, what, what band you say this sounded like. Come on, Come uh, White on. Snake. White Snake. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I said that this song retroactively makes ACDC worse. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> somehow it, it it's the it, fact that it was influenced by it, it by proxy it, it ruined ACDC somehow. It reflects oh, poorly on them. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, and then I I don't know if you guys got this at the end. I didn't actually look up the lyrics for this because I was just so exhausted. Like, about, like, three songs in, I started giving up. Um, Mm -hmm. But I think she says, like, I didn't get to bust one all over you. No way. No. No, she she didn't. All right, well. She absolutely did not Yeah, because definitely women don't get to come, (laughs) right? (laughs) I don't believe it. I mean, this guy probably doesn't give a shit. I don't believe it. Let's see Room this 21. Album cover. The album cover is still up on the on the computer. I know, it's second so album. funny. Um, yeah, it ends Oh, with, there's a lot of lyrics to there this There are way too... Yeah, it doesn't say what happens at the end, but like... Well, the stoppies, you'll have to find out for yourself. <sighs> I'm going to go... F- I'm going to find out. Heather, no. <laughs> I'm going to fucking yeah. find out. I wouldn't recommend going too deep into this. You won't like what you we find. Might, yeah, <laughs> might not make it back. Look stop. at the screenshots <laughs> of, this, of the Hinder guy from all these music videos. And it's sad. <laughs> I didn't realize that he had like that he. Of course, it's a con. I didn't realize that he was Jared Leto. All right, let's see what. Hold on. Is this Hinder or the Locust? This is like the breakdown. I don't know. Wait, we'll go to the very end. Isn't that when she says it? That's what I thought, but. What is it like? Right at the end. I didn't get the last one on over you. Yes! What? <laughs> uh, no. I didn't get to bust one all over you. Did no. you really just say that? No one says that. This is like no this is like that Tupac album where he says shoot shot me. Never said that. <laughs> wait, wait. Bobby, daddy, how does sex work? <laughs> 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 all right, let's hear that again, just real quick. I didn't get to bust one all over you. That's yeah. a text. Uh, that is what she's saying. That's, that's a, what I thought. It's that's the woman a, from the album cover. That's <laughs> a that's a text to speech program. <laughs> <laughs> No human being has ever said that in the history of everything. Yeah. That was Alexa. Yeah. That was Alexa, that yeah. Was <laughs> prototype Alexa. All right, moving on. Moving on. Sorry, uh, thank you for indulging that. Uh, I mean, No, I you just, I couldn't believe you were right. I'm I yeah, I noted it. <laughs> it was duly noted. Okay. I I must not have caught that because somewhere in between the song when I was listening to it the first time, I thought, "Yep, I think I know what else is going to happen. We can move on." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of those songs on the album. It's really actually the entire album, and we probably just should have stopped at There's song one. For but everyone. here, here we are. There's one thing for some people. <laughs> well, we're almost done, right? We got three uh, more. We got four more. Yeah. Oh no, three. We more. got three more. Three more. So about to hit the big one. Let's slog on. This is the one. The centerpiece track. This is the one I tried to block out all those years ago, and yeah. Uh, yeah. hadn't. Well, it. This well. is this album's like. <laughs> Mission statement. Mission statement. Absolutely. Yeah. This is the um, the centerpiece. What's a, what's a comparable track? We can, the we can uh, to this. stairway to heaven. Yeah, yeah I was this thinking is the stairway, stairway to, to heaven. heaven. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't want to go that obvious. It's the first rock song to go triple platinum as a ringtone. Really? No. Yeah, this is true. Oh. 
Oh, oh, that's right. Ringtones were a thing for a while, and I think they still I are. I thought people in these were areas. just doing Soldier Boy songs for ringtones. People were doing I fucking did... triple platinum Hinder songs. Oh my god. Fuck! Just play the song. I, I was thinking about lips. <laughs> All right. You know what the real tragedy of the song is? And, and uh, stay with me. You got, this might be an unpopular opinion. All right. So you, you take out the singer. Yeah. You take out the fucking god-awful, like, cringy, cringy, gross lyrics. The song itself is, like, kind of pretty and nicely arranged. No. 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 no, 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 no you fucking okay, stop it. Yeah. No. I think, no. No. If you give this, if no, you no. Give this song. You got a hot take here. This is, yeah, this this is, is a hot take. This is fucking Stockholm syndrome. Did you listen like, to, did you listen to not... Ecstasy or something? Were you, like, did you have had your empathy moment. cranked way up somehow? <laughs> no. I think if you gave the, this chord progression to, like, a, like a Kelly Clarkson type, like, it, it wouldn't have been nearly as bad. Okay, I'm I'm trying to picture it as a Kelly Clarkson long, song now. Yeah, like you know the lyrics are a little she, more vulnerable. I guess that that little it sounds so sweet. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, that, maybe I don't uh, I don't it's, want to admit it. Yeah, I don't want to say anything good about fucking lips of an lips angel. Of an angel. <laughs> I tried so hard to you never didn't even like that guitar solo. Come on. <laughs> it does. It that does. Whiny, have a whiny like solo. siren guitar. Like yeah. this is this is a song that people. <sighs> Incredibly ill-informed people play at their weddings. Oh, oh my song, god! And it's a song about infidelity. Oh. Can you imagine this? Is, <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> Alongside I mean, every on. other song on this album. <laughs> Can you imagine this is our song? Oh my god! Well, like the oh, thing is, it's like the type first of people, dance to lips of an angel. The types of people who would <laughs> have this a, at their a wedding. Butt tattoo with like lips <laughs> and like angel wings. Grandpa, tell me the story of how you met Grandma. <laughs> well, the arts were a hell of a time. <laughs> <laughs> has there has anyone ever used this song uh, for their wedding uh, without wearing a uh, camo tux? <laughs> <laughs> so. And Jay and Co's. <laughs> <laughs> like, the song is sort of like a, like a Hallmark card that's been soaking in Four Loco and Rockstar for like two days <laughs> in, oh, in boy, the hot oh, Oklahoma sun. <laughs> I don't know. I I could use an energy drink after this song though. It's so, it's so like underpowered, plodding and strained Listless. and like yeah. deeply unfun. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it's a slog. Yeah, it's not romantic it's in any ballad. way. Like Lethargic. it's all about like cheating on your partner, like emotionally it's still cheating, and like then making a generic ass song about it. How is that romantic in any universe? Like, yeah, this is the one where he says like I'm like sleeping with my girl is sleeping in the room next to this one, and uh, right like was that the other one? And I wish that she was you. Yeah, you have the lips yeah. of an angel. Was that Man. this one? Yeah, that yeah, is that's this, one. this one. Yeah, oh, that's uh, it's fucking gross. I hate it. It's fucking it's gross. I hate it. That's that's why Kelly Clarkson couldn't save this song. Cause it's well, just... I'm saying different lyrics. All right, I'm talking about like just the the guitars and the melody. I like, mean, the, you're, you're talking about just like basically ripping the song apart and then starting over anew. And at that point, like, why bother? Just write a new song. Yeah. Well, no, no. I'm saying right. take take the singer and and like change the lyrics, do a new melody or something like. So then the change the song completely. The chords are not <laughs> complex. I think that's, I think those that's exactly are, what I just said. Yeah, those chords are very. Uh, you know, r- r- like, they're not new. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like, right, there's nothing right. really unique about that arrangement that's like, oh, we gotta keep it. Like, no. Very Yes, if you changed me. almost all of the pieces of the song, <laughs> maybe it could be good. But in that's this case... That's what I'm saying. That's, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, a bold <laughs> stance. Currently, we are reviewing the song as it is, and it is a fucking nightmare. It's so it's bad, It's so man. fucking gross. This is the, this is the so worst song predatory. in the album, I it's think. It's so predatory. It's so fucking, like... You know, sleazy and like gross. It's just irresponsible, like that it exists. Yeah, that it's putting such a. You I know, feel like we're giving it still. We're still giving it way more critical eye than it deserves. Uh, yeah, you know? as in like we should just stop talking about it and go on to the next song <laughs> and just fucking get this over with. Uh, well, this was this way. was the one that was the number one <laughs> pop single. Yeah. This is the one. Yeah, it was number one on the Aria Singles Chart in Australia for seven weeks. Jesus. 
I never liked Australia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would explain. Let's go get them. That would explain a lot of what's going on. I mean, on it in came Australia from us. Right it now. came from from Oklahoma. <laughs> From fucking Oklahoma, God. Nothing good ever came from Oklahoma. <laughs> nope. Apparently, Christian Channel with us. Yeah, Christian Channel with. We like her. Got uh, a pretty sweet I gave musical all those other too. examples though. <laughs> and and uh, I'm sorry. Ro- Call Roger, me bad. Roger Miller. Let's oh, yeah. Leon Russell. I don't know um, who they are. I think oh. Oh, Leon Russell's. Uh, he's like a soul singer, right? Oh okay. no, he was a songwriter. Leon Russell. What did he write? He was like a. That ah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> See, you don't even know. Yeah, the, that's how. Oh, wait, that's that's, your, that's your second best example of an Oklahoma he, musician. He was a songwriter. He did a lot of songwriting for famous Southern rock stuff. Oh, like in like the seventies. He did lots right? of session stuff. Yeah. So did he? What did like John Prine and shit? Yeah, something like that. He had the like big that. beard, like white. Yeah, hair. he had a huge beard. Leon Russell. Yeah, he, big he just died, didn't he? Yeah, he died like a couple years ago. You guys are just I'm making this up, aren't you? I don't know. I'm not What's making happened? this up. <laughs> well, there was Why won't you believe me? I wish I could have been reviewing that possibly imaginary album. Right now. Around, Why couldn't we re- be reviewing the Wicked soundtrack? <laughs> Christian Chenoweth. At the round, uh, I will tell you a tale of the fantastical creature that is Leon Russell. <laughs> <laughs> 300 years ago, forged <laughs> 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 in the great caverns of, I don't know. Um, let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> All right, uh, guys. The home stretch. The home stretch with yeah. the homecoming queen. How nice segue. apropos. Thank you. Swing, swing on the dunder oh, Weren't they also from Oklahoma? Maybe All American Rejects? This is... <laughs> you know, Prince had the Minnesota sound, and we're hearing the Oklahoma sound. Oh, so, yeah. so you didn't play that part at the beginning, but, like, the opening bit Ugh. feels like it's just completely ripped off wholesale from Sweet Child of Mine, doesn't it? <sighs> yeah, yeah. Bit. It has that that. Uh, I mean, this is the same. This is the sweet with. child of mine chord progression. Actually, I just realized, like, I'm I'm playing it in my head. Right. A little bit. Yeah. I kind of like this song, guys. This is the best song. It's an there's old American U- song, There's right? some U2, okay. like, 80s U2 guitar leads on this song. But, but the, the lyrics are so patronizing and so fucked up. Like, the whole, like, song is like, first of all, how old are you, Hinder? Why are you <laughs> writing some blower? Why are you writing songs <laughs> about homecoming queens? Second of good, all... Good point. Didn't think of that. Yeah. Like, I just, I'm picturing him writing this song while, like, jerking it in a mid-sized sedan it's, in a oh, freshman no. dorm parking lot it's, it's, at, like, it's the just, university. It's just an Another, uh-huh. It's just another incel nice guy track. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. About like we should have saved her. She let us down. Like you know, this like she became like an addict or like something, and like she let I us said down. I said a nice thing, so us. now you and have to have sex with me. Those are the rules. Yeah, that was. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was it. He was like, yeah, he was like, you should you should have sex have sex with me, like or like we you know she met this bad guy that let her down the wrong path. But I wish I, I had I met her because I would have I would have done I'm better. Dead. Different. It should have oh, been boy. me. All right, I'll be I'll be honest. I didn't read any lyrics to this song, so maybe it's not it's about the really lyrics. Bad. I was just looking for something to cling to, and I kind of like I mean, the like. I mean, at this you know, point, like the leads even, were kind of good. At this point, you don't even need to read the lyrics. Just use some basic pattern recognition. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're like a gorilla, like pointing to like a <laughs> fucking like board of pictures, and that's like pictures are, yeah. are meant to represent <laughs> certain phrases. Women, bad. women, bad. <laughs> 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 whiskey. Let's see. The uh, last eight songs were gross and terrible. Uh, this one must be the good one. Uh, mm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry. I I, I needed I needed something to cling to. And yeah, I don't know if you listen to it again, which you should. So this is uh, your dark horse of the song. It's this way is, overshadowed. It's way overshadowed by the white knight like bullshit. Like it's just yeah, you yeah. know, it's dumb. It's dumb. It's very dumb. It's dumb. <laughs> what are the lyrics it's also about? Like, again, nothing like more extreme than like fucking stereotypical high school soap opera drama. Like this is it. It's like an episode what of Degrassi. What is the plot of like, this song? Yeah, it's who, an episode what does it deal of with the homecoming queen. It's an episode. Of she becomes like an addict, and oh, she like no. you know meets the wrong guy on oh, the wrong no. side of the tracks. But if he was there to save her, then he would. She would. That's been like fine. a big part of this like 
culture anyways like just yeah. you didn't really let go of, of like how you peaked in high school because that's when you're fucking on top of the world and like you know partying right. all the time and right it, it, it's very time. much but, you know eventually you like <laughs> grow up we and get like a real here. job and like you know get married or whatever but like these guys learn you move out of your people. hometown yeah. and stuff like that I you mean, stop listening to hinder yeah. learn, learn there's a world beyond norwood massachusetts exactly <laughs> Thank you, thank you for saying Norwood because that's my hometown <laughs> and I love trashing on it. <laughs> Gotta make that call back. Yep, I do. <laughs> I'm from East Bridgewater. Uh, you know, I feel like we're kind of in the same. Boat. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. I, I used to live down that way, too. I, I lived in Whitman for a while. Ooh. Yeah. Yep. So did so did there Poppy. That's where Poppy's from, I just found out. Oh, really? Yeah. Hi, Poppy. Also the, Hi, Poppy. <laughs> uh, also, the drummer from. Or, Drummer or bassist from Journey for anyone who cares. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and then also the bassist for um, uh, Godsmack. No, the, <laughs> the bassist for Blue Oyster Cult used to give guitar lessons out in Whitman at Priority Music. Wow, guys! Wow, wow! That, it's we're a hell digging. Of a town. We're yeah. digging deep to <laughs> Priority Music. I mean, uh, or, or Whitman and Brockton, the uh, the musical meccas of the South Shore. But Indeed. did you have Blower from Hinder? <laughs> nope. Might as well. We have. had uh, <laughs> extremely scary hardcore shows. Extreme. <laughs> oh, Dar- yeah. The South Shore was all about the fucking Johnny Cupcakes hardcore shit. <laughs> yeah. Like there's a lot of X D R A W R down there. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of lots of bands with superfluous X's in their names. Oh yeah, they had some X's in their screen name for sure. <laughs> there were dudes in that scene who like. Did murder people, <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah. Like, oh. oh yeah, I, I I know I know the story. Yeah, I know the one. We we won't bring it on air, but uh, yeah. we'll fix it in post. Listen, yeah. <laughs> music was pretty tight though. <laughs> yeah, I'm from Chelmsford. That's not exciting in the slightest. Let's move on. <laughs> All right, guys, we uh, are thankfully blissfully. Yes. Almost done. Yes, and we fucking made it. We uh, fucking made more it. Go. Just one more. Ironically, this album like isn't that long. It's under forty minutes. Yeah, it's, it, it, is, are, it is a quick one. It feels ten times longer than yeah. that. But like we could write a whole, we could sit here and write a whole like dissertation on how terrible this album <laughs> is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, From like a creative and like also like cultural standpoint, I'll, in every conceivable way. We will not do anything of the sort. No. Stop, um, he's write us a five paragraph essay about this album. <laughs> <laughs> we'll enter you to win a oh, t-shirt. You give, you give your fans homework? That's a good idea. Yeah, that's what that's that. what fans are really looking for these days. They want to be told what to do. <laughs> and they want it to be pointless. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, rate us five stars on iTunes. Oh yes, absolutely. Absolutely do that. The winner absolutely. of the essay contest will receive a single taco from Taco Bell. <laughs> We'll Our review. Th- we'll review an album of their choice. Like that would be a good one, right? If they write us a five paragraph <laughs> yeah, essay about <laughs> fucking Hinder, I'm not gonna read it. <laughs> How are we gonna choose the the winner? You're really gonna read no, no, a no, stack of essays. What are you about talking Hinder? about? You think that people are actually gonna enter this? Like I, I'm talking in the hypothetical made up world okay. where that happens. The, the out first there. person well, who gets us a five paragraph essay about this fucking album, about butt rock, about Hinder, about 911 being an inside job, whatever, <laughs> whatever you need it to be. We need it to be five paragraphs, and we need it sent MLA to us formatting and make it mm-hmm. stop. Mm-hmm. Uh, one inch podcast at gmail.com <laughs> and yes APA format cite your sources I said MLA what the fuck oh wait no APA Come oh, okay on. fine stop fighting vastly <laughs> inferior you need to enter your, your uh... <laughs> and what are they oh they're gonna win they get to torture us with an album of their choice so <laughs> All right. do it stoppies figure yeah, it out I guess in the meantime <laughs> <laughs> I really fucking hope no one does that. Oh my god, I think it would be the funniest thing. I would be really depressed. I would be thrilled. If someone took the time to do that, I'd I would be, be thrilled. All right, so the last con- song, the last Kong, the last <laughs> song is called Shoulda, or as I like to call it, Shoulda. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> It's a fucking Chevelle song. Yeah, people we, still like Chevelle, right? Yeah. Uh, the jaunty 6 8 ballad. You remember Chevelle? They did no. that song. The Red. So let down. All their songs were in 3 4, and this song's in 3 4. Yeah, that was my. It was my the 3 point. 4 butt rock band. Yeah. 
Someone had to do it. Yeah. They were, they no, were... they didn't. Nobody had to do this. Nobody had to do this. I think Chevelle is way better than Hinder. I actually like Chevelle I, I is almost listenable. Uh, his, I mean, his, his vocals great, are, are his voice is definitely a lot more like palatable. It's more pleasant to listen to. Yeah. That much I'll say. Yeah. He's like a watered down Maynard. So I literally have nothing to say about yeah, this song. Yeah, I literally yeah, I wrote nothing. I ran out of shit, too. I just wrote, ugh, it's the same song again. I'm done. No, like, oh, this I... one's in 3-4. Yeah. <laughs> they spiced it up. It's got a little flanger in it, too. Uh, Mike, 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 it's over. It's over. It's over. We, we, we made it. It's we did over. it. God, we I did us, it. Let I'm, us have I'm this. shell-shocked. I, I, <sighs> Straight up. This has My been... My back hurts. <laughs> <laughs> no. This is this is overprescribed painkiller music. Like this is like this is <laughs> fuck. Yeah. It's bad. It's really bad. It's I, Perk 30, the <laughs> owl. <laughs> 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 Those little blue Oof. guys. Oh boy. Oof. It is though. Speaking of East Bridgewater. Yeah, seriously. Oh, yeah. Speaking oh, of Massachusetts where we are all from. Mm-hmm. Um, no, we never mentioned Massachusetts on this show. <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> if you didn't know, we're from Massachusetts. This, this album is the opiate of the rock star energy drink drinking masses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got to come down somehow. <laughs> yeah, seriously. God. <laughs> extreme. Yeah, is this, album, is actually, yeah. this album is a monster Opiate energy drink speedball. Pretty extreme. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, seriously. Oof. Oh, my. That is so gross. <laughs> that is so gross. Oh, I'm going to need they're a they're Xanax they're... or like three to just like right. recover from this album. It was tr- trash through and through. Mm-hmm. It started out bad. It got worse. The fact that this was popular in any way is deeply offensive <laughs> yeah. to me. And it, the fact that they it's are wildly still out there making the music. Thing. It's not even just like it was like a, a niche uh, market. It was like Brock fans. And it's all just this like fragile as fuck like masculinity of like I can't show emotion so I'm just gonna screech. I'm just gonna strain. I'm just gonna I'm never gonna feel comfortable just or, or authentic. I'm gonna use these generic ass you know fucking um, like s- stupid like slogans empty empty words that mean nothing and just bark them into the abyss. Right. Guys, are you just feeling that euphoria that I'm feeling that we're no longer That's listening true. to this oh, yeah. album? Really I, I'm, I'm actually so like, hi. This is I like a, I have a really important question though before we move on. Um, who who was this album by again? <laughs> <laughs> I want to think... say the Xes, <laughs> Saliva, Finger Eleven, Soil. Am I getting close? What was that first band? Three Days Grace, Lifehouse, Ooh. Flaw, Flaw, <laughs> Saving Abel. Oh, Ooh. you're going all over. Ear, earshot. Fuel? Anything? Your shot. Oh, man. The- theory of a Dead Man? Fuck. Am I getting close? There's so many butt rock bands. What the fuck? Default. And honestly, I think, I think hopefully, Stoppies, you'll agree with us, but honestly, like, I don't see us how we could review another butt rock album because they're all, they are all this. Like, are they- I'm going to get into this a little bit when we do my rating. Do you want to do it now? Should we yeah, do our ratings? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So we made it through. Here's what I, oh, man. Here's what I want to say. Like I was, I was considering rating this a negative five, because um, I hate it. I hate everything about it. I really fucking do. I There's, aside hate from, aside from everything <laughs> about this album. To be fair, that's a very good reason to give it a negative five. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. By the way, actually, let's before I get into the rating. Uh, you guys are our guests. You should um, help us come up with a quantity to rate this album with. Oh, so right, we, right. We always do zero to negative five of something. Yeah. Um, so something relevant in some way. Something relevant to, to this album. Relevant to this album. Um, how about uh, how about zero to negative five keys to room 21? <laughs> okay. Oh, God. I don't oh, want to go there. How many copies I don't did want you make? Any keys. I don't <laughs> want any of those keys. <laughs> um, all right, so I you wanted, want negative keys. <laughs> I wanted to rate it negative five keys to room twenty one, but I thought about it and like this really is every butt rock album. Like this is it, every, nothing really makes every this butt rock album. Yeah, anyway. it, nothing really makes it stand out as like a, a, a bad in a special way. Right. I would love if we ever did a butt rock album again. I would only do it if we can. Like this album is. Very polished. It's very well put together. Right. And, uh, the the instruments are tight. It's tightly produced and mastered. Like, uh, it had professional help on the songwriting. I would do another butt rock album. I want to hear poorly right. executed butt. Yeah, rock. you want to hear the the real shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I I feel like I feel like because 
because it's so generic, I can't really... We want to dig deep I, in the colon. We want to pull <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah. But I just I just don't... I don't know. There's nothing special about this album, so I'm just going to give it a negative four out of five. Yeah. Uh, negative four keys to room 21? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Bratch! <laughs> Bratch! I think it should be on a scale of... <laughs> Bratch! No, but that's fine. Um, yeah, I also, like, it's so, like, deeply unremarkable. Like, everything about this album is is so predictable. Like, you can hear each song seeps and oozes into the other. It's just... More leakage. More leakage. Yeah. Like, it's just a lot of that. And, um, you know, it's okay to cry, boys. Like, it's all right. Like, it's okay to feel emotions. It's, a, um, it's healthy. It's normal. Um, please don't do it like this. Please don't just... Yeah. Please don't just pummel me. Don't just fucking whine. With, yeah, with the f- most fragile ass whining, but then but just... But whining like, ampli- like through like a, through the back of your throat. The gritted teeth and like the... Yeah, exactly, dude. It's... Ugh. Chill the fuck out. Um... Get stoned. Nobody, nobody in this fucking band smokes weed because there's there's such a deep level of unchill. But yeah, um, yeah, I give it. I will give it a negative three. Oh wow, that's very generous. That's not that generous. I've been, I've I've rated other stuff, most stuff worse than that. I think a negative three is like fair okay. because it's like it just that's is Lulu one level. song. You think this is as this is. You would rather you would you would not rather listen to Lulu than this. Uh, Lulu was funny. So <laughs> Lulu, Lulu was funny. Lulu was maybe. Great. I mean, oh, I, I listened to that episode. That was oh my god. So maybe <laughs> what a fucking experience it was. Okay, so negative four. Negative. All four. right, yeah, negative, negative four. four. I'm glad I fucking yes. yeah. You did it. Yeah, I definitely I you rather. Our side. I'd rather right. listen. Yeah, 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 I'd yeah, rather yeah, listen yeah, to yeah. Lulu. I'll make the yeah. average oh, easier. Right That's yeah. how bad this shit is. I'd rather listen to Lulu. Lulu. All right, you guys. Go ahead. Uh, you want to go first, or all right, I, I, I could go first. So, so, how does this rating work again? It's it zero, zero is the best. Negative. Zero is the best. Negative five is the worst. All right. Zero is like true neutral. neutral. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna give it a negative four. Yeah. All right. All right. I think that's uh, that's pretty accurate to say that. It, like, I think without this singer in the band and the lyrics, it would be a three. Yeah. I, I think like the band w- was fine. It, it's it's generic as fuck, but like that. That guy, that lead singer, just completely takes you out of it. And, and like you said, it's just like fragile little boy lyrics and, and very amateurish phrasing. And like, I think with the better singer, it could have been like a slightly better band. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. And it's, you know, decent production. There was some work put on it. I, I'll give it a four. Negative Negative four. four. Yeah. All right. Okay. I am not going to hold anything back. Negative five. Wow. Negative five, room, wow. negative five room keys to room 21. Wow. I, feel that. I mean, you say that, you know, with a little bit of changes, this could be um, this could be better. But it's kind of a weird paradox because, to me, this album is, like, not just bad, but it's just so unremarkable in so many ways. And yet, if all those things were changed, then it would be a completely different album, and then it wouldn't be Hinder anymore. Yeah. So I'm reviewing it on those terms. As a Hinder album. Yeah. So negative five room keys, but more importantly, I'm going to give uh, negative five billion room keys to all the people <laughs> that use Lips of an Angel as their wedding song. Because <laughs> you're all wrong. <laughs> you're all complicit. You're all taking part in this madness. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh the best God. Western s- suite room key that, that they went the to for their honeymoon. <laughs> That's oh, no, I'm sorry. Really... It might be classist. I should stop. The room right. I hung myself in uh. <laughs> after listening to this fucking atrocity. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, thank you so much to our guests thank you for here, having us. Lee oh, yeah, seriously, and Patrick from this Jukebox Zeros. Tell, tell them what you guys do, where they can find you, upcoming episodes. I don't know. Give them, yeah, give them right. business. I'll uh, let Lee uh, start. Okay. Um, uh, our podcast is called Jukebox Zeros. Um, it's kind of like this podcast, except it uh, takes a little bit more of a clinical look at the albums and like some of the backstory and focuses on like some really infamous sort of albums. Like uh, our first episode was on Billy Joel's uh, Billy Joel's uh, project before he went solo, Attila. We've also done ones on uh, Trans by Neil Young, uh, Limp Biscuits. Results may vary, and a whole bunch of other ones. Uh, Anything depend- with like a super low Metacritic score, and also has yeah. like kind of had a 
had a story behind Sometimes it. Sometimes the story also like adds to its failure, mm-hmm. so yeah. to speak. On our next episode, we will be reviewing uh, Hulk Rules by Hulk Hogan and the Wrestling Boot Band with uh, certain two people who happen to be hosts of this podcast. <laughs> how <laughs> Double header, baby. It's a true crossover. Funny how that works out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we should get into that, so you should check us out. We'll be back uh, our next episode. Man, what is our next episode? It's, uh, oh, the next episode is my birthday oh, yeah. episode. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah. thank you. But yeah, no, I'm almost uh, 31. And uh, we're going to be doing uh, <laughs> the first album I was able to identify as a bad album in my life. Uh, the Simpsons Sing the Blues. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? Yeah. Wow, hot take. No. Yeah. <laughs> I don't agree. Oh, that's, shit. That, that's a zero for me. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, we'll, Maybe a positive one. We'll that, be the judges. Is that the one that had we'll Do the Bartman on it? Yeah, it's yeah, Do the, oh, yeah. the Bartman on no, it. No, it, it is pretty atrocious. That's it's the one really with, bad. It, it's really bad. It, <laughs> We're going to have our friend Ben Stein. That's Cutesy Simpsons era. Ooh. It's bad. It's very bad. We're going to have our friend Ben Stein on for that one. Should ben be, Stein? Should be a Not good the actor. time. Different Ben Stein. <laughs> yeah, that guy's an asshole. <laughs> no, different Ben Stein. Please, don't say this in don't front of him. Don't do this, yeah. He's fragile. I'm sorry, other Ben Stein. I didn't mean to compare you with that. Dickhead. <laughs> yeah. All right. So anyway. Uh, so that's next week. That's next week. And uh, listen out for us on Jukebox Zeros as well. Yeah. Yeah. And give us five stars on iTunes and go to www.makeitstoppodcast.com for our real website with a real domain. And tweet at us. Follow us on Twitter, please. Wait, at please. Make It Stop Cast. Please. We have like no followers, guys. Please. Come on, please. 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 Twitter sucks. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's dead. Please. I got into Twitter game please like 20 like years ago. Me. Don't be a bitch. <laughs> Don't be a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Last time Please Twitter. Like me on Twitter. I follow me. Please don't be a follow me. Follow me. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> With that, guys. Yeah. See you next time. See ya.